In this tutorial, I'll show you how to embed video into a PowerPoint. And there are a couple of instructional reasons why we want, might want to embed the video directly into our PowerPoint rather than have it housed outside online or even just on a file on our computer. So the first reason is for convenience. We don't have to wait for a web page to load or a video to load that we've uh, you know, saved on our computer elsewhere. It's all part of our presentation and that allows our instruction to be more efficient. But there are also a couple of other reasons. Secondly, if we are using a YouTube video, um, there is always the potential that the creator of the video will take it down, in which case we're going along in our presentation and suddenly the video doesn't work. If we've downloaded a copy of that video and embedded it directly into the PowerPoint, we will not run into that problem. Our final reason that I have uh, for using video in the PowerPoint rather than online is that uh, those recommended videos at the end of YouTube and the advertisements over on the side can be a little inappropriate for the students that we're working with. Um, so I really don't want to be responsible for exposing my students to things that are inappropriate for their age. All right, so those are a couple of reasons why we want to make sure we have the video on our computer. Uh, there are other tutorials available on how to get video out of YouTube and onto your computer so that you can use them. Of course, being aware of the copyright restrictions and being good cyber citizens. All right, so now we're here in our PowerPoint and we're going to insert some video after that long diatribe couple of ways to do this. Number one, if you're on any of the content layouts, so if you come up here to layout, any of these that say content on them, you're going to see something like this that has some options. You can insert tables, charts, smart art, uh, files, clip arts, and then media. So if you click on this media icon, that is kind of the same as going to ins the insert menu and then choosing a variety of different things. So that's one way to go in and insert video into your PowerPoint. Another way to do it is to come up to the insert menu, come all the way to the end, and go to video. So we have some options. We have video from file. We do have video from website, but again, we do have some possibilities of that getting broken at some point. And then there is a limited amount of video in the clip art section. Okay, so I'm going to do a video from file, and I'm just going to choose a video that's here in my sample videos. Okay, so that pops up on my screen. I could put this if I wanted to, if I go to home and layout, I could put this in a two column format and put some content here if I wanted to. Lots of options for how we position and use this. But if I click on my video here, you'll notice my video tools ribbon has come up. Again, I can go into format just like I could an image or anything like that. I could put, you know, frames around it and do all kinds of fun stuff here. I can also change the size of it, align it, etc. Now, if I go into video tools and playback, I've got some more options that I can uh, implement. I can test it to play it. I can add bookmarks to it, certain segments I want you know, to, to note. And then I do have a trim video feature in here that would allow me to kind of restrict what's shown to a certain amount. Now the one problem I have with this is that it doesn't change the file size of the video. So if this is a really, really long video and you only want to show two minutes of it, I personally would edit that in a video video editing program to make a smaller, more efficient file size. But you can use this trim video option if you so choose. This will also allow you to fade it in and out, so you'd come from a black screen, fade into the video, and then back out, and change your volume. So this is rather nice. If you like the video itself but not the sound that's on it, you can simply mute the sound. All right, a couple of other options here. Right here, we can start the video on clicker automatically. This depends on your instructional purpose. If the video is by itself on a slide like this, then I would start it automatically. But if it's on a content slide with some information, then I would start it on click. We've got play full screen. We can hide the black box if you want to. We can loop it, and we can have it rewind after playing. Those are some of our options. Now, if we go into the slideshow and check this out, You'll see my video, there you go, playing right in the PowerPoint slide. And that's how you insert video into a PowerPoint slide.